Ubisoft. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. Character gives unnecessary recap cliche. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? My goodness. Talk about aging. This game looks like it was released in the early 2000s. Before anyone says it, yes, I'm aware games can age. But has anyone heard of Elder Scrolls Oblivion? How about Mirror's Edge? This? It hardly looks like it came out for the PS3. What's crazy is that this is the remastered version. On the road before then. Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. Lucy, if you're in such a rush, why did you waste time trying to convince Desmond to get in the Animus when you could have used the Animus you have in the hideout with Sean and Rebecca? Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Giovanni just said a whole sentence. That name has like 15 syllables. He's no different than those celebrities naming their kids sentences for names. Stergo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! Okay, two cents here. One, how does a guard not have some sort of key to be granted entrance to the section he is patrolling? Also, are you really trying to open that? You know very well it's impossible to open the door like that. Or at least I would hope so. You're a guard in a highly technological building. I'm sure Abstergo knows not to hire people with no common sense. I also want to ask, why is there anyone shutting down the elevators in the building? By now, everyone should know Lucy and Desmond are running around trying to escape. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Come on. Desmond tried three different combinations and was successful on the third try. That sounds like the rule of three cliche. Also, he narrowed it down to four buttons, which is a combination of at least 24 different codes. He only got three down. The fact that he got it down so fast while being in a rush is like getting snake eyes ten times in a row. How did you do that? I don't know. Character does something important without knowing what just happened, cliche. It's always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Yeah, Lucy, you can't start saying something important when Desmond is so confused, and then you'll say you'll tell him later. Either escape, and then tell him, or tell him now. So none of these guys has a taser of some sort? You'd think that that would be the best thing to have since they don't want to kill Desmond. Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Well, it's not like you're unrecognizable. They don't want to kill Desmond. In fact, they can't afford to kill Desmond. Apparently, Lucy didn't think about that. Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Boy, there's no real easy way to say this, but, uh... Look, you're a simp. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean, instead of being a prick for no reason at all, how about you don't get offended faster than a liberal and focus on your work? Sean is the type of person that screams jealousy because he's nothing but a side character. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Ah! Silencio, my friends! Silencio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, cruel! I love how Vieri wasn't there a few seconds ago, but when Ezio turns around, Vieri and his crew are there. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. 
It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself. Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Uccidetelo! <laughs> Yeah, a rock like that thrown out of force like that would definitely break his tooth. Definitely do more damage than a bloody lip. Also, why is this guy smiling? Happy to fight the, the Patsy crew? Hey! Behind you! Federico! What are you doing here? I wanted to see if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. By this time, Ezio should definitely know how to fight. The only reason Federico is here is because the game has to show you how to fight in the game. But why? Desmond was fighting the guards in the first eight minutes of the game. Fall back! Fall back! Hold on. What? We've almost won this. Ezio, Vieri gave up and ran away. That means you won this. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> best may it never change and may it never change us 30 minutes into the game the game is reminding the player what they're playing a classic move from assassin's creed this move never made sense you can't drop from a building into a two feet stack of hay and not die hay is not a form of cushion unless there's enough crap together two cents here one, how in the world did Enviari see Ezio fall into the stack of hay? Also, Ezio told him earlier he's been with his sister, which triggered Vieri. Sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. <laughs> so why didn't it come to Vieri's mind to check his sister's room? I know Vieri is a father type character, but it's still getting sent. <gasps> Look, I get that back in times like this, people weren't very smart. But common sense still occurred. This chick looks like she's Gloria's twin sister. If you're going to cheat on someone that looks like this, with that, you deserve what's coming. Also, look at Gloria's sister acting all happy and whatnot. Does she not realize he's trying to get into them sweaty pants? Once the cloth comes off of her, this is what he's going to see. Uh, uh. I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditor. And you call this better? Well, the same can be said to you. Anyone can do better than a cheater. The fact that she's even considering being with you makes her twice as dumb. I had something else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Mm. Hey, Lurido Porco. Ezio, my friend. Ah, ma che te piglia? You insult my sister, parading around with his puttana. W what are you talking about? Are you really going to act dumb when Ezio caught you making out with Gloria? What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. In bed? It's the middle of the day. Who's going to sleep this early? Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Translation, there is little no point in collecting the feathers now, so the game will introduce this pointless activity for no reason. The only reason it's an activity in the game is to remind Ezio of his younger brother for later in the game. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Maria, let me tell you something. Being skilled at getting some V's is a skill no woman can possibly understand because they can give it out with ease. One must not misunderstand the skill and technique of getting some V's. Take modern women, for example. To pound their V, the man must have a million dollars. Must be seven feet tall. Must have a credit score of 850, while she can be unemployed and have a fish for a V. It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. 
If someone tells you everything's going to be all right or things are going to be fine, do not listen nor trust. Make sure things will be all right on your terms. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. Giovanni, you're a professional assassin. You should know who you should trust and who needs to be watched from a mile away. You should have contained evidence to counter this accusing fraud. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? You know, you could have just said the last time was before his father and brothers were hanged. After that, you never seen him again. Pretending to not know who he's referring to would only make you seem more suspicious. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. Vieri, you never be Ezio that we know of. The very first encounter Ezio and his brother had you running like a little punk. What makes you think you could beat a sort of trained Ezio? I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? The arrows. Not sorcery. A swordsman like you should know that. Also, saving the hair at the nick of time cliche. Skill! Show yourself! As you wish. How do you not see him when he's right in front of you? Kill them! Kill them all! I don't know how slow you are exactly, but do you not remember all your men being killed with arrows a few seconds ago? The fact that new enemies will be spawned in after the cutscene is a sin. Look, there is nobody behind Vieri. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces and I fear he'll discover what we intend. The area is the type of character that gets bullied by the people who get shoved in their lockers. His character is as lame as Anko from Naruto. Pretty much a nobody. Trouble. Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. Are you really asking him to let you reunite them when you clearly ran away when he showed up? You know very well you're no match for Mario. Is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> Then let's not keep him waiting. It seems to me that the only thing waiting was your death. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crepa! Traditore! Ezio, you had one job. Defend Lorenzo and his brother Giuliano. Why didn't you step in time to save them is beyond me. But at least you saved them both, right? Nope. A sense of sin. My goodness, what is that face? It doesn't even look like it's from Assassin's Creed at all. Gods! Gods! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! So I see why your son was such a weakling. You start a fight and then run away. And you call yourself a Templar? Templars are even corrupted people, sure. But at the very least, they're not afraid to die fighting. I know I heard a noise down there. It's time to earn your Florence. I want half of you to search the courtyard, the other half come with me to check the chapel. See, si, Capitano. Then we check the secret passageways. What about Lorenzo? By now, Lorenzo is already dead. How can you say that with such confidence? Nobody found Lorenzo's body, he was seen fleeing away. How has no one found evidence that Lorenzo is still alive? He's a very wealthy and very well-known man. Shh. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. Ezio is just now learning how to dodge and disarm his enemies? He's been an assassin for several years now. These are very basic moves that should have been learned long ago when he started training. A delicate matter, but important to me. 
could you persuade the idiot I married to come home to me and stay home? I the prophet assassin was sent to bring back an unfaithful husband. This is as embarrassing as Cassandra or Alexios, the Spartan prodigy being sent to water plants. <gasps> I'm sorry, maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly, as the others would be here with you. Well, what did you expect of him? He's so old, he can barely move his body. If Jacopo had four Etsy along with Francesco, there wasn't much he could do. He would have just died sooner. Also, let's not forget his role was to calm everyone down after the deed was done. His role was not to fight. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. Villain takes out one of his own to show how evil he is, cliche. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Was Ezio just standing there in the open? Yeah, so much for a trained assassin. I guess Mary forgot to teach him common sense. That I didn't plan for it. We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to me! Ah! I love how Rodrigo leaves these goons to kill Ezio as if they're able to. He just told Ezio he's been doing this longer than him. With all his experience, why didn't he just kill Ezio himself? This is just another way to give the protagonist a chance to come back in the end. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to me! Ah! Ezio, are you really suggesting they should disobey Rodrigo's orders? They'll be dead either by your hands or the Templar's hands. If you ask me, I would rather die by a single stab than dealing with the Templars. <laughs> you mean to tell me he was still alive after being stabbed fatally in three different spots? Especially since Rodrigo stabbed him from the neck to the torso? Venezia, such a beautiful city, so many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Who's us? They want you, not Leonardo. You even say this once the chase is done and you get off the wagon to fight off Rodrigo's men. I'm aware this wagon wasn't made for sharp turns, but given the fact that there's an invisible wall there for protection is something that is unable to be ignored. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. Um, not really. He endangered your life. There's quite a difference. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, Multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. This is like giving a suitcase to someone so he could walk a distance with it, and when he arrives at the destination, someone will say, good thing you didn't put the bomb on the floor, else he would have been killed from the explosion. Don't you think you should have told Desmond about the side effects before he's been in the Animus for so long? It's the woman from Ake. What was her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. Alright, wasn't expecting that. Well, what were you expecting? Did you not see her smirk while moving her finger getting ready for some pounding? The real sin is the fact that somehow Altair and Maria smashed with their clothes on. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry, long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Mm, madness, isn't it? Sean, Desmond is human. Let's not forget that. Desmond needs some actual sleep. His brain is being fried while being pounded. Something Subject 16 was quite familiar with. 
Remember him? Just get this out of me. So, so, let's have a look first. Clean entry and exit with the thigh. That's good. Get it out! Rosa, we must take care not Now! Come here, boy. Tenete now. I'm sorry, Piccolo. Sorry! Ficatelo nel polo, you're sorry! Wow, even back in those days, women had no clue on how to make up their mind. Some things just doesn't change. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into her wound. Are you ready? Now! Ubisoft, was it too much to add a cut? Where's the wound the blood squirted from? It certainly isn't the time of the... You know what? I'm not even gonna make that joke. <laughs> You work well under pressure. You call that pressure? He just covered her wound with the cloth. You'll be all right. The worst is past. Venisi cancero, brutto bastardo. A te che la grandissima troia di tua madre. Why is she acting like a wife giving birth? She got an arrow to her leg. So what? It's not like she's crippled. And what's worse is that not only she'll be walking, but she'll be running and climbing too. Show Ezio how to reach the top of that scaffolding. Begin in a hanging position. Then jump to the ledge above you. As you reach it, grab it with your hand and pull yourself up. There. So after all the climbing at your experience, either chasing someone in a stealthy manner, jumping from building to building, or even chasing someone that is as fast and acrobatic as him, he's just now learning to leap jump to get to higher places or grab a higher edge? Your little house of cards is crumbling, Emilio. A minor setback. It will be dealt with. This povero scemo Antonio and his thieves. Never mind then. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is... Is he in Venezia? He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Yeah, I agree. Last time we saw Emilio, he stabbed Jacopo. Literally a second later, Rodrigo exposed Ezio and ordered his men to kill Ezio. Did the thought of Ezio coming to kill him for the death of his father and brothers not come to his mind? Where is Emilio? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. Okay, two cents here. One, how didn't they know Emilio was dead? He was assassinated the previous night. You can imagine the assassin hit Emilio's body, but we never heard about it, nor did we see any evidence of that. Usually, they'll present the bodies in a brutal way. Take Francesco, for example. His body was hanged in front of everyone to see, and Jacopo left the scene immediately. Also, why in the world would anyone trust the Templar? If I was a Templar, I wouldn't trust any of them. I would know they will not hesitate to kill me to proceed with their plans. Okay, look, I get an assassin is all about stealth, which includes blending in with the crowd. But are you going to tell me no one notices someone in the hood, especially getting closer to a group of powerful people? I don't care what era it is. I see someone dressed like Ezio, I will know something ain't right. I can't believe it. It worked. It really worked. You flew, Ezio. You flew. No, he wasn't flying. He was gliding. Maybe Leonardo didn't know the difference between flying and gliding because this wasn't done before. But Leonardo should know that if you can't control it and you're going down, that should mean it's not flying. Not only that, but Leonardo warned Ezio it's just a prototype, that it's not ready at all. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this pezzo di merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I've checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Da che idea del cazzo? Eureka! Character solves his own solution by throwing something out of anger cliche. Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? Oh. Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! Now here's my issue with this. Where's the evidence that Ezio killed Doge? He wasn't stabbed. Sure, forensic science wasn't a thing during this era, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out which of the two actually killed the man. You killed me? You killed me! Really? Your last words couldn't have been it wasn't the man in white? Useless. There is something moving over there in that haystack. Sit back down. 
We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. Uh, no, this time I saw something. You couldn't have seen anything since your head was facing forward while playing a card game. <laughs> Big strong guard afraid of a rat. No wonder why Ezio handles these guards with such ease. But let's forget Ezio was actually in that stack. That rat saved Ezio's life. Saving the hero at the nick of time, cliche. Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! You really didn't recognize him with the mask on? He wears that same outfit all the time. Also, you should know his voice by now. Are you sure you're an assassin? You have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Speak for yourself. You're part of the assassins, which means you're always in trouble. Also, are you really asking Ezio that when you know he's the most wanted man in the whole city? È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We have much to discuss, cliche. What's happened here? Why the boats? I thought you saw the doge seat. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want... They want... Character dies before exposing important information cliche. I love how Rosa disappears out of nowhere when the cutscene ends. Take a look. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages, I was stuck. When my uncle told me about the codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see the killing of Mojenigo, even the Medici. My father and brothers, it was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. So Ezio found out that the death of his father and brothers was planned. That seemed very obvious. Ezio should know Rodrigo is the head of the Templars. Did he really not think Rodrigo was behind all this? You really have no idea, do you? Guards! Ah, uh, just like every other game. Whenever you're fighting a boss, his minions will come and make the fight even harder. This is a cliche I seek to be finding in every game I sin. This is for my father. Paola. He's gone, but we have what we came for. What you mean? The man is right there. Get him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora. What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the Prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your Prophet. He never showed up. No? But you did. What? A Prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? How did you not know this? Your father Giovanni had an assassin outfit locked away in a chest located in some secret hideout. Paola trained you how to blend in with the crowd so you won't be seen. Your uncle Mario trained you. How slow is this prophet? Okay, as cool as this part may seem, notice how they're falling without letting the ones that jump land and move. Wouldn't that mean they're falling on top of each other? Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does he do? Leonardo says he has no knowledge of it. But in what world does Ezio think Leonardo would know what it does? It's to control humanity. Now how would Leonardo know about such a thing? I thought... I thought I was beyond this. Look, I get that Rodrigo is being saved by that staff, but did Ezio just say he's beyond this? How many people he killed through this entire game? We're not even gonna count that. Let's move on. Lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Really, Ezio? And would you give up so easily were it the other way around? Why don't we find out? Ugh. At last. And now, to deal with you.
You know what's funny about this? Rodrigo showed he's not one to let someone live. Look at the mercy he showed Jacobo. Why didn't Rodrigo make sure Ezio was dead? Because the plot didn't demand it? Of course. You expect me to believe that God lives beneath the Vaticano? Ezio, at this point, I wouldn't deny anything to be possible. You both seen ancient artifacts that are more than able to control humanity with the wave of your hand. That ancient artifact was created by something, right? Surrounded by singing angels and cherubim. How is Rodrigo talking so casually when he's getting dropped like the dummies MMA fighters used to train? You can't. You can't. It's my destiny. Mine. I am the prophet. Is that so? Well, why weren't you able to open the door? Only prophets can open the door. Get it over with, then. No. Killing you won't bring my family back. Oh, so killing the countless of others that were behind the deaths of your father and brothers would? Until probably lost count from all the people he killed. What's one more? I see even back then games used that lame cliche where the main characters can fight 50 guards and still come out victorious. Uh-oh, Doc. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Oh, okay. You're so tough when you have your guards, but once they're dealt with, you're running away. And you call yourself a Templar? Shame. Clearly something catastrophic happened to the people of the first civilization. That woman, was that my Minerva, was it? Yeah, hear that? I can't understand anything they're saying because the music is way too loud. This reminds me of these YouTubers and TikTokers that have their music so loud and completely blocks the sound of the content. Anything that reminds me of that will get this. Say it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. My turn to take care of the Sean. Everything will be all right. I promise. What? Daniel! No! Stop! Uh, shoot! Shoot! Oh, 